These people will be with you forever. Will be with me forever. Well, by forever, right, what John means is for as long as he needs a family, you know, or you, or whoever, really. Excuse me, Dr. Lightman. How you doing, John? You all right, mate? Nice pants. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to John's wife, Sandy, and his lovely daughter, Liz. On your feet, girls. Who've been kind enough to join us from Toronto, where they've been living since he abandoned them 14 years ago. the Stafford family, or rather the Weverly family, as Mr. Stafford was known before he had to leave town. Lovely family. <clears throat> John? Very handsome. Let's, uh, let's take a break. Oh, I think we're being invited backstage, which rumor has it is a rare honor, you know what I mean? Repat amongst yourselves. Can you clear this area, please? Now. Right away. Right, you heard him. Let's leave this area, please. We clean it all day. Well, go on in. Say something. You talk for a living, don't you? They came all this way. Sandy. Liz. I'm really sorry. I was wrong to leave, but I'm a different person now. Wrong to leave? Just wrong? So everything's good now? And young and stupid? I thought you'd be better off without me. I really did. <sighs> no, he, he believes that. He's probably standing there trying to figure out how to spin this into a positive. I don't have to listen to this. She never stopped waiting for you. Even when she went to college, she called to ask if you'd come home. Not even a letter. Nothing. You just disappeared, you son of a bitch. I thought you were dead. I hoped you were dead. I told Liz you'd have died, but she didn't believe it. She always believed that she was going to see you again. You left us with nothing, Carl. Nothing. You're seeing this for the first time, but I've been living with it for 14 years. Let's go. 